Hey everyone, who's your favorite teacher of all time? I'm pretty sure it's me, Teacher Andy. I'm back again with some card science. I think I lost some weight because my bow tie is loose now. But anyway, today we're going to look at some Donruss fat packs and see whether or not weighing these packs actually makes a difference and whether or not these inserts weigh anything at all. Stay tuned. Okay guys, if you're new to this channel and you're just wondering what the heck is going on, why am I wearing a bow tie, and these are actually fake glasses too, um, because I need to look professional for my new job as a card teacher. What am I trying to do here with card science? I'm trying to find if there's any sort of correlation between weight, maybe some measurements of uh, dimensions to see whether or not there's actually science behind trying to find inserts as well I might actually rip apart some cards just to see what they're made of Hint it's probably all cardboard or some sort of plastic But um, yeah, we want to try some new and fun things uh, Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I'm always open to ideas as to what else I can try so for this one, I am doing some Don Russ fat packs. These fat packs come with 30 cards per pack. There's exclusive hollow green, yellow laser parallels that come in each of these packs, supposedly. Um, these are extremely hard to come by because uh, you're very limited in trying to get them. They're always sold out really quick. I was only able to get three of them, so my sample size will be three. But before we get to using this scale, by the way, it's in grams, and it's going to be to the closest decimal point, I also have these Dollarama basketball cards that I want to get rid of. I'm just going to cut them open first and show you guys what's inside before we get to the main event of these Don Russ packs to guess what's inside. So here we go. We have, oh, before I do the cutting, let me show you guys what I've got. I've got 2010 to current cards memorabilia card memorabilia card and a superstar pack so i'm going to start with a superstar pack i think because i actually don't know what years those are supposed to be i think i randomly bought them so here we go let's cut that get this out of the way superstar you get three cards per pack and here we go. Let's see who they count as a superstar. We've got ourselves. Bam. Adebayo. Colin Sexton. And Tobias Harris. So is it Colin Sexton or is it Tobias Harris that's the superstar? I'm assuming it's the Stonrus Optic card. Uh, I mean, Bam was pretty good at one point, but... Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. So we'll just put these guys up here. 2010 to current. This one actually feels really thick. It comes with five cards. And a decoy card, I guess. There we go. Comes with Dario Saric. Shabazz Napier. Dwight Howard. Marcin Gortat. I remember when he used to be intimidating. That's a prism card, by the way. Prisms are pretty sweet. And you got the Mari Carroll. Okay, so last two are jersey or memorabilia or autograph cards. So let's see what I get here. And of course, I failed at cutting this. So as your teacher, this isn't how you cut open packs. You should learn a little bit from my mistakes. Uh, just don't do what I do. All right, kids, don't do what I do. Make sure you cut them properly so that you don't have to do this, which also shows you guys, I do this in one take. I make everything up on the fly. Memorabilia card of, ooh, there you go. Donruss Jersey Kings of Rudy Gobert. That's a pretty cool card. The man who shut down the NBA. That is a cool, cool card. Not numbered, but I'll take it. Rudy Gobert. And the next card feels a bit, is also pretty thick. Here we go. We got Marcus Smart, clear cloth, totally certified. And sorry, that is the scale beeping there. 
Mark is smart, totally certified. And that is actually numbered, if I can get it in there, it's number 78 of 299. Sorry, 79 of 299. These glasses, I should probably get real ones. 79 of 299, that's cool. It's clear cloth, there's your memorabilia card there. A little bit of some peeling on the bottom, but there you go. Two pretty cool cards. They're both players that are still in the league today, so I appreciate that. Uh, there's probably some value behind it. This is actually his rookie card in the corner there. I didn't really point that out earlier, but that's a rookie card of Marcus Smart, clear cloth. Okay, now let's get to the actual main event here. Can you actually weigh packs to determine what inserts are inside? So, turning on the scale, this is going to get me to one decimal place. First pack, 67.2 grams. So, let's write that down. Let's see if there's a difference in this pack. That one's 67.3 grams. Okay, slight variation. So, there's something maybe in this pack here. We'll see. Yep, definitely something, 67.2 grams. Okay, let's put this back on just to see I'm not crazy. 67.3. So, my highly intelligent hypothesis as your teacher of cards is that there is something in this pack. So we'll save this one for last. We're gonna start with this one here. 30 cards of extra value. Here we go. Let's see what is actually weighing an extra 0.1 gram. This is going to take a while, guys. There's 30 cards, so bear with me. Valanchunas, oh, this card is bent. And I was here complaining about uh, upper deck stuff, but this card is really bent. And it's Valanchunas, Josh Jackson, Jordan Clarkson, Clay Thompson, Seth Curry, Marvin Bagley the third, Goran Dragic, Luke Will, <laughs> Lou Williams, sorry, Dwayne Bacon, Ton Maker, Wesley Matthews, and now they're upside down here for Marquise Chris, Daniela Gallinari, Brock, oh, I can't see that, Brooke Lopez, D Doug McDermott, and Myers Turner, Daniel House Jr., Drew Holiday, Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, Shy Gilgis Alexander, good Canadian boy there, Trey Young, good player there as well. We've got Carmelo Anthony, and here we go. Here are the insert cards. We've got ourselves Great Expectations, rookie card of Patrick Williams. We've got a Power in the Paint, Carl Anthony Towns. Ooh, we've got a Don Ross Refractor of Kevin Herter. That must be the yellow laser parallel. Let me see if I can get that foil shine in there for you guys. Let's see if this weighs more. 2.4 grams versus a regular rookie card. 2.2 grams. So there you go. A refractor card is 2.4. Let me just write this down. 2.4 for refractor and 2.2 for regular. So all that foil adds 0 0.2 grams, guys. There you go, we're learning stuff. We're learning as we go. We got a rookie, Danny Adiva, Onyeke Onkong, uh, I'm not even gonna try that. Grant Riller and CJ Ellaby. Obviously we wanted one of the big guys, hopefully a Wiseman or a Ball, but we didn't get it. That's okay. So. This one at 0.2 actually did have a refractor. I think this might have something a little bit more. We're gonna have to find out. The next pack. Look how easy these packs rip though. You know, that's how they should be, guys. Just see if there's any sort of damage. Here we go. Kyrie, Jaron Jackson Jr., Matisse, DeAndre Ayton, Patty Mills, Otto Porter Jr., Robert Covington, James Harden, Kemba Walker, Jarrett Culver, flip it over, Andre Drummond, 
Evan Fournier, Roy Hachimura, Kevin Porter Jr., Rudy Gobert, Eric Bledsoe, flip it over again, Bogdan, Buddy Heald, Gordon Hayward, Bradley Beal, Keldon Johnson, and here we go. We're getting to our inserts here. Uh, ben Simmons, obviously the uh, center of attention for trades right now. We got a great expectations of RJ Hampton, all time league leaders of Dirk Nowitzki, complete players, Zach Levine. We got a rookie of Sadiq Bey, Aaron Naismith, Killian Hayes, Pat Williams. And Cassius Winston. So I think this was a bust of a pack, guys. Um, a lot of rookie cards, but not any of the rookies we wanted. Last pack. Let's see if that 0.3 gram actually, or if that extra 0.1 gram weighed in and gave us anything. So far, that first pack got us a refractor card. So hopefully we get something here. We've got De'Aaron Fox, Trevor Ariza. Deontay Murray, Dwight Powell, Anthony Simons, Chris Paul, Dorian Finley-Smith, Boyan Bogdanovich, Kevin Durant, uh, DeMar DeRozan, miss him on the Raptors, Kendrick Nunn, Kyle Kuzma, I already see some yellow shiny stuff, I'm sorry I tried to spoil that, Jimmy Butler, Zion, TJ Warren, Draymond Green, Harrison Barnes, Shabazz Napier, sorry, that thing turned off again. Will Barton, Victor Oladipo, Mobamba, and AD. So here we go. Some cool cards. We got ourselves Ja Morant now playing franchise features. That's a cool card. I like that. We've got ourselves this one. This one looks pretty cool. Great expectation of Sadiq Bey. What is this shiny, shiny thing? This is Eric Bledsoe of the Milwaukee Bucks, NBA champion Milwaukee Bucks. So that's one of the refractors. We got ourselves Precious Achua, Cole Anthony's, Tyrese Halliburton, Isaac Orcoro, and we got a, one of the bigger ones, I guess, James Wiseman of the Golden State Warriors. So not too bad, not too shabby. Got a couple of refractors in that one. So I guess the conclusion that I can actually draw from this is just that the 2.4 grams, there is a 0.2 gram difference between a refractor and a regular card. Um, I should have probably been counting cards just to make sure there were actually 30 cards per pack, but to each in their own. All right, guys, I hope you guys learned something from this video. If not, I am sorry. I will try and find something more educational for you guys next time. But the only conclusion I can safely draw is this. A refractor card is an extra 0.2 grams. Stay tuned next time for another episode of Card Science. Maybe we'll do a few more of these Donruss packs if I can find them. If not, maybe we'll do maybe Dollarama packs way different and have different inserts inside. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, guys, I appreciate all the comments, the likes, and subscriptions. If you think we deserve one, I would appreciate all of that. Any feedback you guys have, give it to me as well. This is actually in continuation of a video that we did last year at some point um, where we weighed packs, and it's actually one of our most popular videos. And we somehow found a John Morant uh, rookie card out of that. So um, I want to say it's purely coincidence, but you know what? It's evolved into card science. So I hope you guys check out that old video. You guys can also check out some other card science stuff that we've done with some NHL upper deck cards. And that's it, guys. All right, guys, take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay in touch with your friends and family. Let them know you're okay. See if they're okay as well. And then, of course, when you can, celebrate all the little things in life and enjoy them thoroughly. Take care, guys, and I'll see you guys again next time. Cheers. Cheers.